Yeah, I'm excitedly coming up next Wednesday. Do you have all your besides your parents who also coming in town for it? Yes, I'm extremely excited, and I feel like all this excitement has been building up. Um, so now I'm just, I don't feel like I'm aware of it, honestly, until it happens. Like, I don't know. It's just so overwhelming. Do you have, have you, a family coming or just your family, or just your parents? I have my parents coming, and then I have my cousin coming. She's a uh, freshman at Wofford, and she's going to fly out here, you know, for a game. So it's going to be exciting. Can you just talk about the experience of deciding to come to the United States and then your sister getting her through the whole process as well? How scary was it? How scary was it for your parents? And, uh, you know, how exciting is it? to have your sister doing it? Well, I mean, um, I was lucky that I was in a club in Croatia that, you know, prior to me coming to America has also had a couple players that decided on that journey. Um, so I've had kind of a little bit of insight on, you know, what this is going to be like. My best friend has also gone through this whole process before I did. Um, so, you know, I have people that I can, you know, always turn to and ask questions and that can help me through the process. Um, I had an enormous support from my parents that, you know, always pushed me to um, just be who I am and what I wanted to do with my life. And they were always there to support me and by my side. Um, it was scary. It was, you know, going into the unknown. It was overwhelming, you know, especially coming here to Yukon, you know, all these traditions, big names, um, history behind all of this. Um, but I feel like it was so worth it. And... <clears throat> Um, I'm so glad that I'm, you know, able to, you know, have this experience before my sister so I can, you know, share all of this with her and help her along the way. And, you know, now my little cousin is in the same situations and I, I, I constantly hear and see so many little girls from Croatia wanting to, you know, pursue the same thing, which is such an amazing opportunity and they can all do the same thing. And I feel like I'm an example of, you know, if you want to, you really can, you know, with a lot of hard work, a little bit of luck and, you know, just a lot of support. So, it means a lot to me, and, you know, this upcoming week, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a reward for, you know, the people around me that have been supporting me and have been by my side along all this time. So, Can you talk about the relationship with your sister? Your, your dad has said that you guys were like cats and dogs growing up, and now yeah. I guess you have a tattoo of her name <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, no, we were definitely – we are two polar opposites. I mean, the literally, if you can – make a completely different opposite person out of me it's gonna be her uh, so it was it was but we're also so similar at the same time it's unbelievable but yeah we were definitely cats and dogs when we were um young fighting a lot um but I feel like since I've came you know to the United States and so we kind of started that sister relationship long distance thing um we've gotten so much closer and now we can't go without talking to each other every day on FaceTime so you know, I feel like that distance made us so much closer, which is kind of like a weird thing to say. You know, I feel like that would have, you know, distanced us. But it definitely brought, brought us so much closer, and I'm so excited to see her. What did, you, what did you fight over? What did we fight over? Yeah. Anything you can think of. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like anything, attention, just uh, competitiveness, playing games, whatever it was, we would always fight about everything. So you're saying she's really easygoing. Right? Really Yes, I would say she's much more easygoing than me, you know, much more calm, much more steady. Um, yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you convince her to come, or did she kind of see what you were doing and, and follow in your footsteps? Were you like her, her hero kind of thing growing up, or how did that work? Well, I don't think, you know, she would have ever admit that she would look, look you know, up to me and what I was doing. But um, it's interesting, a couple of days ago, like, she actually told me how, how proud of she, how proud she is of me and how like for all these years she's been looking up to me and you know um trying to copy everything I do and you know um it was just I don't know it just means so much to me that first she's finally able to admit it <laughs> but <laughs> but also that you know I feel like being a big sister is such a blessing and it's um a huge responsibility and um it's not also being a big sister it's also being a best friend to her which is hard to incorpor incorporate both in one, but um, I'm just so happy that, you know, I can call her my little sister, and I learn a lot from her, too. You know, it goes both ways. I look up to her in so many other ways. Um, so, yeah, it definitely goes both ways. So what's the tattoo? Where is it? Can you show it to us? Or oh, it's right here. Okay. Letter H. <laughs> <laughs> and also right here, Baby Mule. Baby Mule. Uh -huh. Yeah. So two. I have two of her. And why did you decide that you wanted to do that? 
I mean, I feel like, you know, my tattoos, like, represent a lot of, you know, meaning in my life, and she has the most meaning in my life, so she deserves two. Does she have any for you? Yeah, she does have one on me. She has an N right here, so, yeah, that's a matching one. Have you, have you ever played against each other? We have never played against each other, except, like, one-on-one, you know, yeah, outside. Driveway. Yeah, in the driveway. <laughs> but that was such a long time ago, I don't even remember that. But, um, yeah, this is going to be the first official ever time we're going to play against each other. You know, I know a lot of times in other sports, brothers or particularly you don't, don't want to play each other. You know? Yeah. I mean, like a lot of famous <laughs> pitchers with brothers didn't want to pitch against each other in baseball. And yeah, it's 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 yeah. Do you, do you do you have is there any of that here or are you kind of looking forward to playing with you? No, I cannot wait. Like there's none of that. I can't wait. I'm sure sh- she wants to win as much as I want to win. It's gonna be so hard to watch for my parents. I know they're gonna be over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so hard for them. But um, aside from all of that, winning and losing is just such a great opportunity, you know, to just experience this together, you know, for the first time ever. Uh, we're sharing this experience in the States, and now we're going to share one together finally and, you know, share it with my family too, share it with my people here, with all of y'all, with everybody that's going to come and watch. It's just going to be such a full circle moment for me as a person. And will you trash talk in English or in your native? Oh, in my native. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trash talking in English. I want my people there. They're going to hear me. There's an opportunity like this like help you reflect on just how far you've come since you got to UConn of course oh my god I feel like ever since this game was set up it's just been a whole journey of reflection and realizing man I'm a senior and I got here four years ago and it's already been four years and just reflecting on all the memories the hard times the good times you know times where I would call them on FaceTime times where I didn't want to call them for a week because I was you know going through stuff it was just um I don't know. It's just, I feel very blessed and very thankful for this opportunity for sure. But Where do you feel like there's no way you're going to allow her to get the better of you on I'm Wednesday. sorry? There's no way you're going to allow her to get the better of you on Wednesday. I mean, right? of course not. <laughs> like, that's the plan. That's always the plan for anybody. She's not special when it comes to that. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you feel like you've grown the most since you got here? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I feel like, I feel like I've grown the most in, trying to understand what my weaknesses are as a person and um, accepting them and not, you know, running away from them because, you know, I feel like your strength is your biggest weakness too. So that's been so hard for me to understand, you know, how my stubbornness or like, we always joke about it, but like it is a weakness, but it's also strength or like, you know, the emotional aspect of all of that. That's all, you know, been a huge weakness as much as it hasn't been a strength for me. So just learning to control that. Um, not just on the court, but off the court. Like I feel like has helped so much for me. Do you understand what your parents have gone through with both of you coming over here and the, the support they've given you? And what what is your your thoughts when you look back at what? They, I mean, allowing two of your daughters to go overseas and and pursue their dreams like this. That's not easy for a dad. Of course, but um, that's why I think you know my parents are the best parents in the world, and I would not trade them for anything. And I'm so blessed and thankful that you know those two people. Um, are the people that raised me and supported me through all this because we would never achieve anything without them. And that doesn't mean that we didn't work hard as individuals. That just means that they taught us how to, you know, keep working hard as individuals, even when things go wrong, even when things go bad or don't go your way. You know, they never, they never, they always kept it real with us. They never went, you know, um, they were never unrealistic unrealistic with what we can do and what we can, you know, know what we can achieve, but they were always, like, kept us humble, kept us to the ground, um, but always, you know, helped us motivate each other and, you know, how to be better and how to, like, overcome adversity. Um, so they've just been such a huge blessing, and I wouldn't trade them for the world. I would never achieve anything without them. You said when, that when you went home this summer, your sister wasn't there, right, like, when, when the team was there? Yeah. Oh, but did you... Uh, you talked about like seeing the girls and the, the younger girls in Croatia who want to do what you're doing. Like, did you see a lot of that when you were over there playing um, with the team? Like people asking you for autographs and stuff. Yes, I mean the outreach. You know, the people that came, it was far more than what I thought it would be. Um, I feel like I think we 
had the most attendance in that gym ever, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I saw so many young girls and so many young boys too, you know, which was amazing for Croatian basketball. I feel like over here in America, it's still like, you know, um, women or men are coming, coming to an equal a little bit, but in Croatia, it's not like that. You know, women's basketball is very underrated. Uh, it's not, it's not looked after the way it should be. So I feel like just seeing all those young girls and boys too at the game, it was, it was huge for my country and, you know, that, that little city and, um, just, for them to see what they can do too, I feel like that's such a great step for Croatian basketball. Are you guys going back for the holidays, or is this going to kind of be your holidays? Um, I think so. I don't think I don't know where I'm going yet. So <laughs> I, I would love to tell you guys. I have no idea where, what I'm going to do this. So you're going to be celebrating with your parents while they're here? Or? Yeah, probably. I feel like that's going to be the plan. But. Are they staying for a while or just the week? Um, they're staying for the Ball State game, and then they're leaving after the UNC. So they're going to see the UNC game. So. When you when. Coach has mentioned that the players on this team do such a good job of bouncing back from adversity, partly because they've had faced so much of it the last three years. What's the key to that, to, to having the right attitude and approach when you get dealt the cards you, you dealt? I mean, I feel like that's the only cards that we've been dealt with <laughs> since I've been here. I don't know any different, honestly. Um, so overcoming adversity is not, I would say, something unfamiliar for us. And just trying to teach that the young guys too that you know we just we just got to play Connecticut basketball. Whoever we have on the court, whoever we don't, um, we are not gonna change a thing about us, about our identity and who we are on the court and off the court. So you know, just understanding that we're still you know basically the same team with the same identity, with the same values um, that we have to bring every day. That's the most important Is part. Is that coach's like overriding message to you guys? Basically, absolutely, all the time. Even when everybody's healthy or when we have, you know, things like this happen, the message is the same. So, What have you learned about Texas? I mean, I think they're a really good team, obviously. Um, they have a great defender, point guard, that they didn't have last year. So they're a lot better than last year, I would say. Um, I feel like they're fast, they're aggressive. Um, it's going to be a really good game. I feel like it's going to be a good um, challenge for us and a good opportunity to bounce back, as you said. Um, so... You know, we're preparing, we're um, going to be ready, and we're going to get out there and play. Have, have you figured out some things this week about how the offense can function without without the three-point threat that we're missing? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously a little more challenging and difficult. I mean, a little. It's a lot more challenging and difficult not having, you know, um, our shooters um, on the perimeter. Um, but, you know, we have guys that can shoot. We have guys that are three-point threat. Um, so just building that confidence, instilling that, you know, you can do this in each and every one of us, but there's also, you know, other things that we can do outside of just shooting threes. So I feel like we can, you know, make up for everything. You said that you talk to your sister every day. Have you guys talked about the game <coughs> at all yet? <laughs> yeah, we've definitely talked about the game. Um, <laughs> Oh my gosh, she's just been so funny. She's been so overwhelmed and excited, and I love that for her. And I, I can't wait to see her, you know, play for the first time. I've never even watched her play live, so this is going to be huge for me, too, just seeing her play. Um, and I don't know, it's just going to be fun. We're going to enjoy this experience, and, you know, it's not going to be just fun. We're going to tr definitely try to win, but don't get me wrong. But um, I feel like just it's going to be a great experience, and so we're going to have fun with it, so.